So last night I made a good amount of stubs just doing some my career missions. I think I was close to doing four and three of them I was very close to doing the first part of the diamond mission. So that's 14,000 stubs a piece. So 42,000 stubs I made from just doing three my career missions. There was another one I did, but it was the dynasty part of the mission. So I made what 9,000 from that. So I made 51,000 stubs in total from just doing some my career missions. Luckily, I was close to doing uh, a couple of them. Yeah, I was just close to doing a couple of them, so I just figured why the hell not just finish them off and get some stubs. And then I did sell some players that I don't use anymore. Like, never in a million years I would ever insert them back in the lineup, so I sold some players too and made some stubs. So I, you know, 100,000 stubs I have in the bank right now without spending a single penny of my own money. That's pretty decent. This Paul Molitor is... Definitely good man. Very impressive card if you ask me. 98 contact versus righties. Uh, 96 versus lefties. 81 power is definitely good. The power versus lefties really isn't there. 82 vision is impressive as well. 81 speed too man. Has good on uh, base running stats too. Good stealing. And 70 fielding is really the only flaw to this card. I mean, yes, the power versus lefties is not really there, like I just said, but 70 fielding isn't too much of an issue. I've used uh, Kipnis and uh, Daniel Murphy in the past before, and Daniel Murphy has, what, like 67 fielding. Never really had an issue with him at second base. I will be using this Paul Molitor at second base, even though third is his primary position. I have way too many good cards at third base at the moment. In Eddie Matthews, Arenado, even though Arenado is playing first base at the moment. I need more righties in the lineup. I've been using lefties like a, like a crazy person left lately, man. Like way too many uh, lefties in the lineup lately. I need some more righties. I think Ar Arenado and... Uh, who else? Arenado and Ripken were the only righties I was using. There was uh, Lindor and Victor Martinez for switch hitters, obviously, but... Not too many righties. I feel like I've been facing lefties like crazy uh, lately too. So I need some more righties 100%. So Molitor is going to be in the lineup the next game. And I'm also trying to do this new Hanley program, man. If it wasn't for these damn fielding assists with shortstops. Holy shit, dude. That is going to be a grind and a half to do. But that's really the only thing that's probably going to take a good amount of time. I mean, I'm really close to doing a good amount of these stats for the first part. The base on balls... Uh, may be an issue, I guess. I've heard from many people, too, if you want to get some walks uh, in an easy way, I guess. You just play the Rockies on, what, Legend? And I guess you can get some walks that way, but I need to do that. So that's probably what I'm going to try and do to see if I can get some walks. But I'm definitely going to try and get this program done. Uh, not too long, man. Like, who knows? These fielding assists, you can't really do... Uh, against the CPU in an easy way or anything. You just have to hope they hit it to your shortstop or just walk some guys and hope to turn two or something. But hoping I can get this done in a good amount of time because that Hanley Ramirez is a very good card, man. If I can replace Ripken with Ramirez, the squad will be looking good 100%. But this is what the, the lineup is going to be looking like in the next game. I will be posting another video after this one. It's going to be a pack opening. I'm going to try and get a ranked seasons game posted uh, later on too, but no guarantees. I have a couple things to do tonight, get some groceries and stuff too, but I'm going to do my best to get a ranked Seasons game up. But yes, this is what the squad is going to be looking like. I put Griffey back in because I need to get that mission done. 